All right, we've got uh, applications now of second degree linear homogeneous recurrence relations. So here's one example. We've got a contagious virus growing at the rate that in the rate in any week is twice the growth rate of the previous week. The first week we have 26 students. In the second week, we've got 25 cases identified. So six students in week N we're denoting with S sub N. So show that S sub N is defined by this recurrence relation. Well, our growth rate in any week, so is going to be the difference in two consecutive weeks. And then our, sorry, they want us to use these two as our consecutive weeks. Okay. And then we've got twice the growth rate of the previous week. So growth rate previous. Well, that's going to be S sub n plus 1 minus S sub n. This is twice this one. So growth rate in a given week is twice the growth rate of the previous week. All right, so now we can rearrange this. When we rearrange this, I'm going to end up getting S sub n plus 2 minus, take this 2 to the other side, 3 S sub n plus 1 plus 2 S sub n is 0. Uh, my auxiliary equation is then x squared minus 3x plus 2. That, of course, factors into x minus 2, x minus 1. So x is 1 or 2 two distinct roots. That tells me I'm going to use the general form un equals a times 1 to the n plus b times 2 to the n. Subbing in my initial conditions, we know that uh, s sub 1 is 20, s sub 2 is 25, so 20 equals a plus 2b. 25 is equal to a plus 4b. Solving this, I'll leave you, well, I won't leave you to solve it because I don't know what it is off the top of my head. So 5 is 2b. That means b must be 2.5. That then means that a is equal to 15. So that then means my u sub n is 15 plus, so 1 to the n went away, 2.5 times 2 to the n. Using this, I can find my S sub 7, 15 plus 2.5 times 2 to the 7th equals, I can't remember what that exactly equals, it's some number in the 300s. see 335 okay so my limitation here well we're talking about uh, six students so if there's if there are six students then my limitation is going to be that I can only use this for a few weeks worth of growth because it's going to be limited to my student population And that's an example of using uh, second degree linear homogeneous recurrence relations in a real world example. And of course, we'll look at more of those in class.